We talk about opportunity knocking, but we shouldn't expect it to beg us to open the door. In fact, Cree J. Govinder has built her career on stage and screen by being more than willing to waylay opportunity while it was walking down the street minding its own business. Kriya chatted to Cree J. about her candor approach. Cree J. invited Kriya to visit the set, but there wouldn't be time for chatting. You know what it means? It means backstabbing cycle. Okay, you guys are happy? You know what to do there? Okay, start off with a wide and then we'll punch it to tight. Okay, cool. Everybody, let's have fun, let's finish it. Once the shoot was over, Kriya could meet the family and get to know Krijay's backstory in the tranquil setting of the family's horse estate home. Krijay, thank you so much for having me and letting me spend a day in your life. It's wonderful to have you. So you've been in the media industry for years, but before we get to that, I think maybe take me back to where it all began. What was it like growing up? I grew up in an area called North Dean, and then Shellcross, and then Marion Hill. My parents were really awesome parents because they've given me a lot of opportunities in life and uh, let me do what it is that I wanted. I met my husband at high school and it says so on my gate. I heard there's a very interesting story about how you guys met. We were both head boy and head girl of the same school. We had no idea we'd end up together. We didn't date at high school and we reconnected at university. So it wasn't love at first sight? Absolutely not. We actually met at the finals of a debating competition in primary school. You should ask him who won. <laughs> and who still wins all the, <laughs> all the debates. Krije describes herself as old-fashioned and a nut that's out of its shell. But looking back at their wedding photos, it isn't surprising that he found her irresistible. You're very busy. I mean, you direct, you still do your comedy, you're on stage, and then in between all of that, you're an amazing mom. How do you find balance? I know it's not the right thing to say, but I've never been a believer in balance because, you know, if, if there's something you want to do or something you want to achieve, you've got to have a very focused drive for that specific time to achieve it. And so I think I believe more in very clever scheduling, time management and asking for help when you need. I have a really great support team to be able to run family and work. So what are we doing here today? Are we going to watch the girls do a little bit of horse riding? We live in the horsing estate. I've always loved horses. I was lucky enough when I was on exchange in the States to live with a family that had a lot of horses and that's where my love affair became a bit of a reality and I promised myself if I ever had kids they were going to enjoy horses. Krije made good on her promise, and her daughters are already confident equestrians. So these are the girls? Yes. Jana is just starting to learn how to canter, and Milan is jumping at the moment. And Oban is here quite often, so yes. he's getting familiar with the horses uh, and the horse manure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You said earlier on that you fell in love with horses whilst you were overseas on your exchange program. What was that like and where did you go? It was a rotary exchange program. It was for a year to Oregon and not a lot of people know where that is. <laughs> it's uh, the state above California. The second host family that I lived with, they were Mormons and they lived on a semi-ranch and uh, that's where I rode quite a bit and fell in love with horses and I had to do all the other work as yeah. well around horses. Okay. <laughs> Would you recommend to anyone out there wanting to do a GAP program that it's a good idea? Yes I would, absolutely. A year abroad is very important to give you perspective uh, to always make you realize that there's a bigger picture and a bigger world. Okay, well, I want to go and get to know the home Cree J. Would it be possible to grab a quick spot of tea? Absolutely. Mela, welcome to my home. Obed is the youngest addition to the family, and Krije says that her children are a delight because they were never planned. Playing with her son and baking with the girls keep her in touch with her family and help her to unwind. She's also a keen painter. You have a beautiful home. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, these look amazing. Did yeah, you make I them? No, I did. I woke up at five o'clock <laughs> this morning and bought them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they traveled really well as okay. well. Yeah, really? they go straight from your mouth to your hips. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it already. <laughs> All right, do you want to take I that with this? Amazing. Let's do this. Tea with Krije shows something of that old-fashioned elegance in her lifestyle. Growing up, did you always know that this is what you wanted to do? Tea? Yes. I definitely knew I was going to end up in drama and comedy because I was a clown. But I always gravitated towards comedy and drama and I've always felt very comfortable on stage. 
For her role as grandmother, Dali Kaif, in the Riyadh Musa comedy Material, Krije had to age dramatically with considerable help from the makeup artist. Thankfully, it all came off at the end of each day's filming. This is the horror version of the movie. From acting, you moved very quickly into another role within the TV industry. Why did you decide to do that? I did do some theatre directing, but I never did anything, you know, in television, which is a completely different ball game. And so instead of gossiping with other actors in the green room, I decided to spend some time in the box watching the directors work. And they had a director workshop, and I asked and begged if I could sit in. And I remember them being very irritated because they're like, no, you're an actress and you've got a story at the moment. And I did sit in, and in a few months' time, the lady changed her focus from who she was training to me, and I was so excited and gave me my break. Here we go. As the director, Krije must guide not only the actors, but also the framing and pacing of the camera work and editing. Cut. Very nice, Yako. You can even you can afford to be tighter. You've been nominated for seven South African Film and Television Awards, and you've won five of them. How does that feel? It was a great feeling to be acknowledged in the industry. They all for directing. It started off with Isidengo, and then there were a few for The Wild. And the recent one means a lot to me because it was a sitcom that I directed, Khare Dumele, which is very popular on SABC. We have a very strong team of directors. We watch each other's work a lot, uh, and I think we um, complement each other quite well in terms of how we see humour. Which is the show that you enjoy directing the most? The Wild was incredible because it gave me an opportunity to work with film crew. I did completely enjoy Seth Stoppler because I've worked with a cast that's extremely talented and High Rollers, the first season of it, was so challenging, uh, but by that stage I felt quite confident. You're big in South Africa and you're big overseas and do a lot of emceeing and comedy jobs overseas. What's that like? Yes, I do a lot of MC work. In a way, I suppose that's my way of fulfilling the performer in me because I've been behind the camera so much. I feel very, very comfortable emceeing jobs and gigs and even weddings and parties. And the beginning of this year, I was actually asked to emcee a memorial service for a funeral. That is the first, <laughs> never happened before. I, I, I declined because I was very nervous that I might crack too many jokes. jokes. A glance at her CV shows a long record of achievement including winning the Miss India South Africa competition in 1994 and then going on to win every segment of Miss India Worldwide in New York. Krije claims to hate shopping and she doesn't believe in following trends, but her wardrobe does reveal an eye for style. So this is my uh, closet and oh, wow. I just want you to know that 90% of the clothes in this closet don't fit me. <laughs> and I suppose that's why all this gym equipment Oh, that explains a lot. Okay. I heard that your husband has more shoes than you do. Yes, he does. I'm not one. I know it's odd for a female, but I'm not one for shopping. You're really funny. How did you get into comedy? I've always found comedy and humour a good way to um, break the ice with people. Uh, and I also realised that if you make people laugh, uh, they like you more, which is probably speaking to my own insecurities. <laughs> Where do you get your material from? Life, really. Kriya. Like, when I think about you, and I mean, I think you have a great name, Kriya. Yes. And I would start off my comedy, if I were you, by saying, Hi, my name is Kriya, and I've really got a good career going on right now. <laughs> and uh, very cheesy, I know, but it works. <laughs> if I were to do a couple of lines of comedy or some material, what are the important things to remember when it comes to execution? The structure of a joke is very easy. Uh, it's a setup and a punch. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the trick is not to see the punch coming, you know, because oh, okay. audiences have gotten very, very clever. And so I think a good punch is uh, what you need every now and then. All right. Not not in the face. Not in the face. Well, Krije, thank you so much for letting me spend the day with you and your beautiful family and letting us into your gorgeous home. And uh, I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you. You as well. I hope you have a great career, Korea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
The single thing that women need the most in the world is inspiration. And inspiration comes from storytelling. Cree J has really mastered the art of storytelling. And getting to spend the day with her and her family was inspirational and a whole lot of fun.